Hey there, today we're going to see how to redirect users based on their country or IP address on your WordPress website using the Geo Redirects plugin by Geotargeting WordPress. This type of redirect is useful if you want to send people straight to the translated version of your website, use location-specific landing pages to increase your conversion rate, or steer people away from content or products that aren't available to them. Okay, let's get started. Once you've got the Geo Redirects plugin installed, you can create your first redirect by going to Geotargeting WordPress and Geo Redirects on your WordPress dashboard. Then click on Add New to create your first redirect and give it a title. The title is purely for you and won't be shown on your website. Now let's set up your redirection rules. These will specify what conditions should trigger the redirect. You can use both AND and OR conditions to create these rules. For AND, the redirect will only trigger when all of the conditions are met, and for OR, the redirect will trigger when any of the conditions are met. You can also combine AND and OR rules. So here, you could trigger a redirect based on condition 1 and condition 2 at the same time, or condition 3 by itself. If we look in the drop-down menu, we can see that there are lots of conditions that don't even involve geotargeting, which means that you can target your redirects to specific types of users, pieces of content, devices, or referrers. And these will give you the flexibility to do things like redirect users from a specific country, but only on one page of your site, or redirect users from a specific country, but only if they're not logged into your WordPress website, things like that. For this tutorial, we're going to stick with a site-wide redirect to send users to the exact same page that they are on, but on the translated version of their site. So I'm just going to delete this, and to show you an example, I'm going to create a new rule for country is equal to Spain. You really have lots of options here. For example, the condition could be um, a country, a city, a state. It could be based on the user or the post, so this is really customizable. Now, let's configure the redirect options to choose where your redirect actually takes your visitors. If we scroll down, we can see the redirect options here. So first, we're going to use the destination URL box, which is actually more detailed than just pasting in a URL. You can also use placeholders to dynamically insert information for the country, state, or zip code, or the original requested URL or path. For example, if I were to choose the original requested URL, and then forward slash the country code, it would send the visitors straight to the translated version of a post, page, or website for a seamless browsing experience. We'll have a look at this in the example later. Now, below the destination URL box, you can configure four more options. The one-time redirect to choose whether to redirect visitors every single time, once per browser session, or one time no matter what. For this example, I'm going to change it to yes to avoid redirect loops. Then there is exclude search engine. It lets you exclude crawlers and bots from the redirect. And there's the redirection code. It lets you change the redirect code if desired. I'll leave it on default. And finally, IP whitelist. It lets you manually exclude certain IP addresses from being redirected. So once we are done, we're just gonna go back up and click on publish. Now, if you go to the settings of GeoTarget WordPress right here, and you scroll down, you can set up regions of countries and cities instead of manually entering each country individually. You can just create a region name, for example, French-speaking countries or English-speaking countries. In the settings, we can also go to the Geo Redirect settings. And if you're experiencing issues with caching, you can turn on Ajax mode to make Geo Redirects compatible with all cache plugins. So two little tips before I move on to the example. If you are using dynamic URLs and you want to redirect users every time without entering into a redirect loop, you can set one display rule at the very beginning that states that page URL is not equal to your website forward slash 
the language code forward slash asterisk. This way that page or the child's will be excluded from the redirect. And then second tip is if you are simply redirecting to one page, make sure that you add a rule that says that the page is not equal to the destination URL before the geotargeting rules. Now that we know more about the plugin, let's move on to an example to see how it really works. Let's say I want to redirect users to a different language based on their geolocation. So first, I need to have a translation plugin installed, and in this video, I'll be using gtranslate, but you can use any plugin as long as it creates a separate version of your website for translations. So now we know how to use the plugin, so I'll click add new, and once you've added your title, you can set your redirection rules. So what I want is for my website to be automatically translated in Spanish for people from Spain, Argentina, and Mexico. So we're going to set our rules that when the country is equal to Spain or when the country is equal to Argentina or when the country is equal to Mexico, the visitors will be automatically redirected to a translated version of the website. So make sure that you use the OR condition and not the AND condition. Now for the redirection options, you first need to know the format of the translated version of your pages. For me, it's a subfolder with a two-letter ISO code. So it's going to be my website slash and then ES for Spanish. So in my destination URL box, I'm going to have my website URL forward slash the country code forward slash the requested path so that if the visitor is trying to go on a specific article or page, it's still going to be translated thanks to the country code. Then for the rest, I'll just choose yes for the one-time redirect and I'll leave the rest as it is and I'll click on publish. Now if I go to my website, you can see that um, all the articles are in English and I'm going to use a VPN to pretend that I am in Spain. Now I'm going to reload my website and automatically it goes to the translated version of my website. Even if I click on an article, it's still going to be the Spanish version anywhere I go on my website. And this would work the exact same way if I were to be in Mexico or Argentina. So this is how you use the geo redirection tool by geotargeting WordPress. I hope this helped you understand how the plugin works and what it can do. So make sure you download it and fiddle with it and check out every option that is available. All right. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this plugin.